one thing as human beings that we're just not very good at is uncertainty. I believe that there is a correlation between the volume of choice that we have and our ability to make long-term decisions. Um, confusion sets in, quite simply, and we're not used to having so many choices. Our brains didn't evolve for the complexity and the number, the sheer volume, and not just that, but the velocity of choices that we have. And so people have this kind of analysis paralysis where they don't move forward because they've analysed everything to death. You've kind of got this cognitive popcorn that goes on. You know, why plan when you can just empty your inbox or answer that Facebook message or contact somebody? We're, we're constantly pulled into very short-term activities and it's very difficult now to focus, to sit back and have that self-reflection time just to focus on what you need and what your future is going to look like. The main thing is to sit and just observe it. Don't attach yourself to it. It's a form of what popularly is called now mindfulness. If I ask people, what do you want in the future? Very often people go, I don't know, I just don't know. They kind of get really anxious and wide-eyed and terrified. But if I say to them, pick a date in the future, and what are you wearing on your feet? Then they know. So it's having the time to consider what the question is, the right way to ask it, and to really build a vision of the life that you want in the future. That's when people are a bit more successful at thinking long term. We're constantly reacting to things rather than responding. We feel as if we're at the mercy of time, that time owns us rather than the fact that we own time and we can make choices. Sitting down and doing some financial planning is a short-term act in itself. But what's the long-term vision of that? The long-term vision and the long-term gift of it is freedom.